Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope you are doing good. Last class, we learned about numbers up to thousand. Today, we are going going to continue the same chapter. Please take out your textbook, page number fifty-five, exercise one point four. In that, write the numbers shown as a above us. If you see here in page number, the first one. Can you see the first one here? How many ones are there? One, two, three, four, five. In one side you have five bits. The next one, if you see in the tens place, one, two, three, four. You have to write in tens place four. In hundred place, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Write in tens place. Seven bits are there. The next one, if you see the same thing, one, two in ones place, three in tens place, one, two, three, four, five, six, six in hundred place. Now I'm going to show you about some abacus in the bits. If you see in number two, if you see in number two, in ones place there are. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can circle nine bits in one place. If you see in tens place, there's a zero means you do not write any bits there. In hundred place, four bits you have to write. One. Two, three, four. Next, we we'll go to the next one. If you see here, if you see the next one, it's seven. Seven means you have to write seven circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bits. You have to write in tens place. Four are there. Means you have to write four bits. One. Two, three, four. The next one, if you see there, six, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next one, please turn your page number fifty-eight, exercise one point five. Write the missing number. Say them loudly as you write. The first one, if you see here, the first one, if you see, there are dash hundred and twenty-two, dash hundred and twenty-four, dash. Before hundred and twenty-two, what number will come? Hundred and twenty-one. Before hundred and twenty-four, what will come? Hundred and twenty-three. Hundred and twenty-four. After hundred and twenty-four, it comes hundred and twenty-five. Then like hundred and twenty-five. After hundred and twenty-five, hundred and twenty-six, hundred and twenty-seven, hundred and twenty-eight, hundred and twenty-nine, hundred and thirty. Here, the next one are two hundred and twenty-six. Two hundred and twenty-seven, two hundred and twenty-eight, two hundred and twenty-nine, two hundred and thirty, two hundred and thirty-one, two hundred and thirty-two, two hundred and thirty-three, two hundred and thirty-four, two hundred and thirty-five, three and four. Do as your self. Now, if you go to B one, write the number in B one. What comes before, between, after? If you see, or you can see a three-digit number, three hundred and eighty, three hundred and eighty. Before comes three hundred and seventy-nine. Four hundred. Before four hundred, three hundred and ninety-nine. Three hundred and thirty-three means three hundred and thirty-two. Here, between between number is a middle number. 
195. What will come between 194? 248, 250. Between is 249. Here 99. 99, 101. Between is 100. Here is after number 368. 369. 299. After that, 300. 166. After that, 167. Now, next one is the C1. The C1, write the number names here 400. 68. You have to write in number 4. A 4 you are 4. 168. The second one. 115. 115. The D1. Write the numbers. They have given the numbers. You have to write in number. 370. 370. 370 you have to write. The third one 500 means you have to write in 500. Now we are going to learn about place value. If you see here 149 is there. 9 is in 1's place. Its place value is 9. 4 is in which place? Yes. 4 is in 10's place. Its place value is 40. 1 is in 100 place. Its place value is 100. Means it's a 149. Okay. The next one. A1. Write the place value of digit in colors. We see here. Always write in 1's, 10's, in 100 in all the number. We see here. 2 is in which place? Yes. 2 is in 1's place. Means it's a place value is 2. Next is 300. Here is 0 is there. 0 place value is 0 only. The next one 2. If you see is 2 is in which color? Different color. 2 is in which place? 2 is in 100 place. Means the place value is 200. The next is write the place value of each digit. Here 1, 1, 10 and 100. Here if you see 0 is in 1's place, it, you have to write 0 only. Here 5 is in 10's place, you have to write 50. The next one, 9. 9 is in which place? It's in 100 place. The place value is 900. The next one, three, 304. 4 is in which place? 1's place means it's a 4. Next is 0. We have to write 0 in 10's place. 3 is in 100 place means you have to write 300. Now, we are going to exercise 1.8. In that, we are going to learn about short form and expanded form. We see here short form is 754. What is the expanded form? The same number you are going to write its place also. It means it is going to write in expanded form. 4 is in which place? It's, it's in 4 is in 1's place means you have to write 4. 5 is in which place? It's, it's in 10's place means you are going to write 50. 7 is in which place? It's 7 is in 100 place. We are going to write as a 700. Same thing here. A1 write the numbers. Here if you see here, it, they, have, they have written in expanded form. That for that one you have to write as a short form. 380, 0 means you have to write 3 in 100 place. 8 is in 10's place. 0 is in 1's place. Same thing here. 113 is there. Means you have to write 113. The next one, B1 is expanded form. They have written in the short form. You have to write in expanded form. 7 is in which place? S. Yes, it's in a 1's place. 
5 is in which place? Yes, it's in your tenth place. Means you have to write as a 50. 1 is in which place? 100 place. Means you have to write 100. The next one say 1 is in which place? Yes, 1 is in 1's place. Means you have to write 1. Next is 4. 4 is in which place? It is in 10's place. Means you have to write as a 40. Next one, 3. 3 is in which place? It is in 100 place. Means you have to write as a 300. Now we are going to learn about comparing numbers. Comparing numbers is nothing but you learn, you know, in English, opposite big, small, fat, thin. Like that, in Max also we are going to learn about comparing two groups of numbers big and small if you see here you can see a more here less here if you see the lion is big cat is small zebra is tall monkey is short in exercise 1.1.9 the a1 circle the largest number cross out the smallest number the next if you see here 109 491 91 which is the smallest number yes if you see here this is the 91 is the smallest number means you have to cross out if you see here 109 491 which is the biggest number is yes, 491 means you have to circle the this number the next one 63 197 200 63 is the smallest number 200 is the biggest number means you have to circle here put big small or equal big big means it's, when if you see here if you see here that big which is a greater number greater number means open and show means here if you see here Three teddy bears are there here. Two teddy bears are there. Which is open? Yes. Three means the greater number. Less. Less means it's a close. See, if you see here, this is the close. And here equal. If you see here also one car and this side also one car means it's an equal number. Same like that you have to open and show which is the biggest number. This is the open and show. When you have, when you eat, you open your mouth. No, same like that. Here 57 343 which is the biggest number here if you see here you can see a two digit here if you see as a three digit means this is a 343 is the biggest number you have to open and show you have open and telling means this is the biggest number if you see here 461 286 which is the biggest number very good 461 you open your mouth and telling me means 461 is the biggest number you see here 329 329 both also same number means you are equal means both also equal number next one we are going to learn in exercise 1.10 descending and ascending order Descending order means it's nothing but big to small. Big to small. In alphabet also if you see means A comes first, D comes second. Yes, A, B, C, D. Which one will come first? A will come and D will come as a next. Means it's a D is the biggest number, A is the smallest number. Same like that. Descending order and ascending order. Descending order means yes, big to small. The first one, if you see, all three numbers also in three digit numbers. Means how to find which is the biggest number? Yes, you have to write H T O. If you see here, always see in 100 place which is the biggest number. If you see here in 100 place 5, 4, 6. Which is the biggest number? Yes, 6 is its biggest number in 100 place. Means you have to write first 643. The next one here if you see is 5 here in 100 place. 4 is there. Means 4 is the biggest number or 5 is the biggest number? Yes, 5 is the biggest number means you have to write 596 
the next one 436 next is a 436 the same thing the next also you have to write h t o here if you see means you can see only two numbers means you have to write t and o and here also if you see the next one if you see your 100 place one is there here if you see means two is there means this is the largest number means you have to write now 298 the next one is yes, 198 198 the next one is 98 next one is a 98 next one in b is ascending order as i told you ascending means small to big small to big the same thing you can write here 100 tens ones First in ascending order you have to see in ones place. You have to see in ones place. Here if you see in ones place 5 is there. Here also 5 is there. Here also 5 is there. Now we go to the next number is tens place. Tens place means here also 6 is there. Here also 6 is there. Here if you see means 1 is there. But here you can see is only 2 digit number is there. Means 65 is the first smallest number. The next one we are comparing is 2. Here if you see in 100 place 1 is there. If here, here is if you see is 6 is there. 6 is the smallest number and 1 is the smallest number. Yes, 1 is the smallest number means 165. 165. The next one 615. 615. The next one if you see 138. 100. 38 the next one 238 238 the last one 438 438 okay students i hope you all understood the chapter 1 and if you have any doubts you can call me or you can send me message thank you students